Hi guys, welcome back to Wayward Sun Custom. Today we have the December 2023 edition of Shieldbox Pro. And I think you guys have probably caught on by now. This is probably my most favorite, or at least one of my most favorite, subscription boxes that I've received. Uh, so far this is one that has not let me down. And, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, in case you didn't see it, the uh, owner and founder, the creator of Shield Box, has a uh, medic box coming out. And uh, you can see a sneak peek there um, if you watch my video. All right, so here's a quick sneak peek. And I'm going to pull this card out of here. We'll see what we got going on. Um, all right, so there's your card. And. Uh, so the front here is the uh, standard box, and then on the back we have the pro items. So um, when it comes to shield box, they do give you an MSRP. Sometimes they're a little more than what you'll pay for. I mean that's generally what you wind up with with MSRP. Um, it's just you know suggested retail, uh, but they are usually pretty close to what you're gonna what you can expect to see. Um, out on the street so there's that now also if you're not familiar they have these little icons here to the uh, right of the uh, items and that tells you what kind of item it is security food uh, shelter clothing what have you right so that's the basic down and dirty it's uh, basically $59.95 to get a uh, standard box and it's 119 for the uh, Pro Box. So anyway, starting it off, we have the Gerber Rescue Hook, valued at $29.99. And it says here is, uh, with an innovative design that shields the cutting edge, this tool serves its purpose in emergency situations. The 420HC steel, uh, let's see, steel hook knife cuts through anything while the molded rubber grip and finger hole add stability. All right, let's see if I can find that. Uh, let's see here. All right, that's not it. All right. Hmm. Ah, there it is. I was expecting a box, but it's not a box, it's a bag. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got some literature there. And then in the bag you have a clip and everything to put on the sheath. I'm not really that worried about that right this second. So there you go. There's the sheath. And then like I was saying, there's a clip that you can put on there that is included. You have a glass breaker temple smasher right there. A little lanyard hole. Um, nice little grippy ability to take it out. And um, let's see. It's been my experience that using paper sometimes hard when you're talking about a seat belt uh, cutter. So they, oh, I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah, as you can see, it works nicely. If I had known this was going to be in here, maybe I could have scared up some uh maybe i could have scared up some seat belt material but uh anyway for its intended purpose i'm sure it probably works pretty good this is a very ergonomic design and you have this jimping right here all the way along even into the uh rubber over molded grip there and uh it is very comfortable and i can see where you could get some good leverage there so all in all Which way does this go in here? There you go. So all in all, nice and lightweight, very e uh, very easy to use. It looks like, and uh, yeah, well thought out. And in a pinch, I bet this will uh, really help someone out. So anyway, and then let's see, let's see if I can get this out of here. All right, and then you do have the clip here. 
I don't really want to take the time to look at it right this second. Um, it looks fairly straightforward, but uh, maybe we'll do a little bit more testing with this at a later date. I'm not going to guarantee it, but maybe, just maybe. All right, so there is that. All right, so that was the Gerber Rescue Hook. Good piece of equipment. Um, you know, you never know when when a tragedy is going to occur. You're going to be in a car wreck or something like that, or you you're driving down the road and you come across one, and there's somebody that you need to get out, um, whether it's yourself or someone else, pretty quickly. That um, that looks like that would be the perfect tool for that sort of thing. Um, I mean, it is designed for it, right? All right. So next, at valued at 19.99, is the OctoCap 2.0 from 511 Tactical. It says always be ready with this 511 favorite, a low-profile hat that is durable and comfortable. All right. So there you go. Um, it uh, says that it has been coated with Teflon fabric protector. So. All right, well, it is not sized to my head, but it has the plastic there. Let's see what we can do. All right. So, there you have it. Um, I don't know. be a decent little range hat, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I've had a lot of uh, 511 stuff before, but I've never had a uh, 511 hat before, so um, seems really well made. Seems pretty like it'll be pretty comfortable. Um, you do have the old-fashioned plastic snap closure there, um, but it doesn't have the... can't think of the name of the little button on top. It has a special name. Uh, kind of like an aglet for your shoestrings but uh it does have a little piece of velcro there so yeah or is that just stitching i think that's velcro so you can attach one of the little bitty patches there but anyway there you go 511 hat next valued at 14.99 is the door jam door control tool it says door jam is a reusable tool designed to prevent gates and doors from locking behind first responders Door jam is light, thin, durable, and flexible, and can be carried in any uniform with ease. The door jam will pr prove valuable during patrol, compliance checks, warrant service, active short events, and other tactical scenarios. And this also, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna wait to see what I was going to until I see the actual item. Oh yeah, there you go, and. <laughs> you are going to marvel at the simplicity of this tool. Yes, marvel. All right, so it's a rubber flap, right? It's like a piece of inner tube. It even smells nice and rubbery. All right, so boom, there's how you use it. You literally just hook it uh, around the doorknobs. And it's that way they can't latch shut. So you have the doorknobs here. And of course the locking mechanism would try to go into the door jam there. And it can't seat in there. So again, very useful. But also very simple. And of course you could do this with a number of things. But this is the sort of thing you can fold up in a pocket. You can you know put in a bag. Or whatnot. I mean, we're complete ease of storing it. I mean, the the possibilities are literally endless. I think, um, and a lot of you guys are probably thinking, "Well, okay, well that's fine if you're a first responder and whatever." But why would I need that? I'm not any of that, John. Well, again, when it comes to shield box, it is geared toward law enforcement, security, corrections personnel, that kind of stuff. But if, it just, if you just think outside the box on a few items, then pretty much just about every item in every box. I mean, there's been a couple of exceptions by um, my my thought process. Um, 
about 98% of the stuff, um, if not 99%, easily translates to a number of things, whether it's everyday carry, whether it's uh, prepping and survival, whether it's, uh, you know, just emergency preparedness, what have you. Um, most things, I mean, even handcuffs, there are certain situations where handcuffs would come in handy for a law-abiding citizen that is not a police officer or a security officer or a corrections officer or anything like that. Um, by the same token, if you have one of these with you and uh, say you're in a uh, SHTF situation and you're, you're scavenging, you come across what appears to be an abandoned house. Well, just because it appears to be abandoned doesn't mean that it is. And you might run into some trouble. And if you do, you might not. You might want to know that the door you came in is a door you can come out. And that it's not going to accidentally um, latch closed on you, um, get stuck or anything like that. This is a way to do that. Just a scenario popped in off my head. May not be the most likely of scenarios, but it is one. And if you're a prepper, that would be a good, a good thing. As far as any other time, what about if you uh, come home and things seem a little off, but not so off that you automatically think, you know, need to call the cops, you know, it, there's no obvious signs of break in or anything like that, but it just seems a little off. Well, if you're going to go, uh, start to go in your house, it only takes a second to slip one of these on your door, whichever one you're going in. And if you walk in, you take a quick survey, you see stuff's going off. You don't want, again, you don't want the door to have shut behind you or to have somebody easily be able to lock it. Now, could somebody defeat this by taking it off? Yes, but they would have to actually take the time, and I'm sure you would be alerted by that um, while they're doing that because they're going to be messing with the knobs and everything to get on and off and all that. Um, I don't know. They may both be far fetched scenarios. I don't know. You guys can roast me in the comments below if that's the case, if you just think I'm. <laughs> Uh, just completely kooky, but I'm just trying to think of things off the top of my head. So anyway, um, again, very simple but very effective piece of uh, equipment. I don't know if I would pay 15 bucks for it because it is basically just a, a rubber band. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you could probably find it for less than 15. Anyway, uh, moving on. At 11.95, we have an OC pouch from Condor. They make pretty good stuff, so. So I'm fairly optimistic that it's going to be a good piece of equipment. But let's see what they have to say about it. It says, ensure rapid access to Mark III or Mark IV OC. This fully adjustable pouch can be attached to the outside of a uniform vest or chest carrier for rapid access in the field. The OC pouch features a 4-inch mod strap to attach the pouch to an existing Molly webbing system. The pouch has an adjustable flap and an elastic placeholder and a simple flap style cover for retention. All right, so looks like, yep. So this is it right here. All right, and now it's going to be interesting to see because I, I say it pretty much every video, but that's because it's true and because I never know when someone is watching one of my videos for the first time and they're not familiar with Shield Box or anything so sometimes it can be repetitious but if you've already heard this then just don't listen and wait for something new <laughs> all right but uh one of the things i like about really 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 like about shield box is the way it's curated because more often than not the items that are in it are usually uh, they usually stack upon themselves to where they each one is complementary to the other um you know if you have a tourniquet then they'll give you a tourniquet holster right um, if they give you handcuffs they'll give you a handcuff case um, sometimes it's almost all medical sometimes it's almost all security but it makes it very easy for you to find a use for it because they complement each other and instead of just getting like a mag pouch and you get no magazines well they would give you the magazines to go with your mag pouch or instead of having a uh, you know, like I was saying before, a tourniquet without something to put it in. They would give you that. Instead of having just, uh, instead of just getting a couple things of gauze, they'll give you an IFAC pouch to go with it. It's those sorts of things. And so I'm kind of anxious to see if there's anything that goes along with this pouch. But right now we're focused on it. So you have some 
a little bit of give with the uh, with the uh, nylon strap there. You do have a pull tab right there. Um, the Velcro is on both sides. The hook and the loop are uh, actually quite stout. Um, very stout ring right there. Um, yeah, I mean all the all the components, the, be it the nylon or the hook and loop, all of it, the snaps here, all of it seems to be really well made. But I would not expect any less from Condor. I've had a lot of good good success with them. So let's see if we got some spray to go with it. Um, that might be a little wishful thinking, but uh, okay. Next we have at valued at seven dollars. We have the Asp Carabiner 2-Pack, a package of one large and one small carabiner. They provide a rapid way to label specific bags of equipment, lightweight, rugged, robust, and rust-proof. They are not designed for climbing, but will support 275 pounds. They're also a great way to carry your door jam. Yeah, I can see that. And see what I mean right there? Right there, they're, they're specifically telling you, hey, these two items can complement each other. So, let's see. That's not it. There they are. All right. As you can see. And you know, anybody that's watched any of these videos before will probably also know that I am a big ASP fan. Armament, armament systems and procedures. If you want to go the long way. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not, not often that I get to use equipment, especially good equipment, from Appleton, Wisconsin. I mean, come on. It's kind of a weird place, right? I mean, the place isn't weird, but you don't normally associate that with, like, police stuff unless you know about ASP. I know, I'm, I'm just rambling at this point. But uh, not really a lot to say here. They are hard plastic carabiners. And, uh, yeah, I mean... I use carabiners for a lot of stuff, um, and I also got turned on to Hero Clips through Shield Box. So, yeah, I mean, I cannot fault any of this uh, stuff so far. I mean, I'll do a little recap and give you what I think, but that's not, uh, I mean, that is something useful. And then the last item in the... Uh, the last item in the standard box, valued at $1.99, is the Thin Blue Line decal from Rothko. Do I really need to say much about that? Uh, pretty self-explanatory. So there you go. Even if you're not a police officer, maybe you have a family member that is, and you can gift it to them. Or, hey, if you just want to support the police, you can do that too. Um, just keep in mind, if you do put that on a vehicle or anything you own, people might assume you are a police officer. And... Uh, some people don't like police officers, so it may make you a target. Um, may also make some police officers out there think that you're trying to impersonate one. So just make sure you make it pretty clear what your status is one way or the other. That should uh, that should be a no-brainer, but sometimes you just got to put that out there uh, for some of the slower people out there. Um, the lowest common denominator, as they as I've heard in the past. All right, so here's the big draw. We are ready for the December 2023 Pro items. And uh, let's see, what do I want to start off with? I'm going to go least expensive to most expensive, all right, and see if you can kind of guess where this is going. All right, so first, valued at $15, well, $14.99, we have a Sam Splint. It says Sam Splint bends into any uh, simple curve, becoming uh, exponentially stronger and more su supportive. Sam Splint is globally acclaimed by emergency care providers. All right, I will tell you, I have never actually used one. Well, not one of these, but similar items, but not this brand. And uh, there you go. I mean, it's basically just, you have a rigid, uh, semi-rigid piece with foam rubber over the top of it. Um, to cushion it and uh, as with most of the medical stuff I don't want to I do not want to open this right now to show you more because I uh, will actually put this in one of my med kits or a bug out bag or a vehicle or whatever 
just a half. So um, with medical stuff, I don't like to open it up unless I'm going to use it because it's medical stuff. It should stay ster uh, sterile, even if it's just a splint. Because just because you're splinting something doesn't mean that they ca there can't be an open wound on what you're splinting. And if this is dirty, you can get bacteria in there. You see where I'm going with that. That's my thought process, process on that. All right, so next up, valued at $19.99, is the Century Cuff Carrier. The Century Cuff Case is a sleek, lightweight belt carrier, provides excellent retention while allowing instant access to the restraints. Accommodates duty belts up to two and one quarter inch wide. All right. So, there you go. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. All right, nothing else in the box. And I mean, it's just basically a Kydex or plastic cuff carrier. Um, there's no clip on it. You just, there is a, this is all one piece. So you just run your belt through there. Um, you don't, so you can't like, take this off and on without undoing your belt which isn't the most convenient but is a more secure way to do that and that is made by asp if that wasn't if i failed to say that oh yeah yeah, yeah. i got ahead of myself there <laughs> um you should have been able to guess by now where this was going especially after i gave you the little spiel about how they curate them to be complimentary and everything so the big draw is the um $49.99 MSRP Century Hinge Cuffs from ASP. So it's a brand new addition to the ASP lineup. Century Hinge Handcuffs feature rigid frames made of corrosion resistant stainless steel with bead ba with a I cannot talk tonight. With a bead blasted finish, the profile provides strength without excessive bulk. This combined with a precision roller bearing pivot and forged steel bow uh, bow yields a hitch-free smooth swing. The frame and bow are manufactured to eliminate sharp edges and rough surfaces. Alrighty. As I've made mention before, and I have had at least one person disagree with me, but I have always been a big fan of ASP handcuffs. I uh, actually was a, an ASP tactical handcuffing instructor, as well as an ASP tactical baton instructor so I may have a little bias there just so you know just to let you know in all fairness um, I have been an instructor for ASP um, in the past was for several years um, and so I've developed a, a little bit of affection for the company and their products and uh, I'm also a big proponent of hinged cuffs over chain cuffs. Um, they're easier to control whenever you're actually handcuffing when you're taking them off. Um, and uh, one of the things I like about the the ASP cuffs is they all, not all handcuffs have these, but they have a squared off portion right there so that when you hit the, uh, when you hit them, there's a nice purchase there. There's no, um, it's not round, so there's less chance that it's going to roll off or do anything stupid or crazy. Um, these right here are a little lighter weight than what I'm used to, and uh, well, with these anyway. And uh, I've always been partial to the ones with the uh, polymer overmold, but uh, yeah, hinged cuffs, a lot better uh, security than chain cuffs, and. Uh, in my opinion, a lot easier to use and a lot easier to put on and to take off. And with uh, all ASP handcuffs, you have the uh, lock and the um, secondary lock both on both sides. So that way, no matter how you put them on, you don't, in, under stress, you, you're not having to sit there and worry about, am I putting them on right? If they go around the wrist, they're on right. So, again, check this out. They go together. So whether you load them that way or you want to load them the other way, it's up to you. Either way, they go in there. Um, there we go. As you can see, 
nice and uh, nice and secure. It does take a. It's not overly hard to get them out, but it does take a little bit of a yank to get them. But uh, there you go. What we have here is the regular box was valued at eighty five ninety one. And then the Pro Box, which is everything you just saw, was valued at $170.88. So, you guys let me know what you think. But I'm going to do a quick little recap here and uh, kind of restate my thought process on all of this. And, uh, yeah. All right. And these will not be in the same order, just however I happen to grab them. So, the Sam Splint can't go wrong with any kind of... of uh, medical items you never know when you're going to need them when crap hits the fan i mean it doesn't have to be the big one it doesn't have to be the end of the world as we know it um, it could just be a simple accident pulling into your driveway you hit a patch of ice and you hit something and you bang yourself up or someone else or what have you you stumble upon an accident anything that happens in the house or you get hurt at work what have you it's always better to have medical equipment than to not have it, right? If you don't have it, you can't use it. Um, which brings me to the uh, um, Gerber seatbelt cutter here and glass breaker. If you're in a car wreck or you stumble upon one, this could be invaluable. This could save lives. So I can't, I cannot fault that. Don't, this is a good quality uh, um, OC spray pepper spray holster made by a reputable company the only knock I can find is that their uh, superb curation would normally give us a, a can of OC spray and I'm sure the reason that it does not is probably twofold um, or eh, you probably think of a few other reasons but one there are regulations and when it comes to shipping aerosols and that sort of stuff. It might just have been a safety issue or a legality issue where they want to make sure that they were everything they were shipping out was multi-jurisdictional, if not every jurisdictional, um, uh, in compliance with local, state, federal laws, all that kind of stuff. So that's probably a big part of it right there because there's a lot of laws out there. And some places, believe it or not, OC spray... CS spray, the combo sprays, and some places they are illegal. So there's probably that. And um, yeah, so between uh, safety and legality, that's most likely the reasons why. I'm sure uh, Jared or somebody over there will let me know if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, that's the only thing that would have made this better, but I understand. Um, at least in my mind, I can think of a few reasons that make it make sense that they didn't do that. All right. The hat, honestly, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of 511 as far as the company goes. I think they make good stuff. I think this is a good hat. Um, and I probably will wear it or someone in my family will, but it wouldn't be my first choice. Uh, there's a lot of other hats, including ones that uh, 511 makes that I would have preferred. But, hey, it's a good quality hat. I can't knock it too much. Um, you know, the sticker, honestly, um, I believe you probably would pay around, you know, a dollar or two for this if you bought it individually. But I also think that uh, something like this probably should have just been thrown in as a freebie. Um that's just my personal opinion. All right, as far as the carabiners go, again, nothing super sexy here so far. Um, actually, nothing in the box is like super just sexy and wow, and I can't believe they put it in there and all that. But what I'm saying is, is I think there's uh, it's there's a lot of usefulness here. Carabiners. Um, I don't know how many times I've used carabiners for a multitude of things. Um, the uses are near limitless, and so I'm not going to bore you with like, you know, spitting out all, all kinds of stuff. Um, if you want a, a bunch of suggestions or something, you can always shoot me an email at waywardsuncustomgun at gmail.com. Um, and, you know, if you're thinking about doing that, why not just take a second and do something that's free and painless? And, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And 
hey, why not uh, go ahead and subscribe? Again, it doesn't cost you anything. It helps the channel out. And uh, while you're at it, you can also hit the bell notifications. And if you really want to help out the channel, you can go ahead and uh, become a member. There's three different tiers, and there's uh, different perks for each one. They build upon each other, and you can check that out. Um, or you could go over to WaywardSunCustomGun.com and get yourself some Dragon Packs. My, uh, my uh, special, curated by me, except for the Sensible Prepper one, which is curated by my wife. But curated by me boxes that uh, you know help support the channel. Different themes and everything. And don't worry, they don't really compete directly with Shield Box. So I'm sure they're not going to boycott me or get mad at me. Um, and if they did, I'd be very surprised. Anyway, you can also buy merchandise over there, t-shirts, sweatshirts, that kind of stuff to help support the channel. Or use Super Thanks, which is kind of like YouTube's version of Patreon. But anyway, back to what I was saying. The uh, door jam thing here, um, I can find uses for it. It's not something I would have bought myself, but perhaps it is, is something I should uh, have thought about buying for myself. But I can find a use for it. Um, I'm not going to try to tell you it's the greatest thing since sliced bread or anything, but I can find a use for it, so I'm not that upset about it. I just wouldn't pay 15 bucks for that. The handcuffs, good quality brand name, in my opinion, on the cuffs and the cuff case. Um, not my first choice for ASP handcuffs. There are a couple of models that I prefer over these. But that being said, I do believe they're good uh, quality handcuffs. And I think they'll do you a lot of good. And I think they're applicable uh, across many different disciplines or genres or niches, however you want to put it. So um, the only knock I would have on this is this is like the third or fourth just this year um, time that I've gotten ASP handcuffs. In shield box and I, I the, the thing that everyone needs to understand is if you are a longtime subscriber like I am you're gonna get duplicates of stuff like this because these are big ticket items that a lot of people are going to appreciate if if this was the first box you got you'd be like dang they gave me handcuffs and ha and a, a, a handcuff pouch I can't believe this and you're going to look through the stuff and you're like, this is pretty cool. If this is the 15th set you've gotten because you've been a, a member for like two, three years, then you might be like, oh, yay, another pair of handcuffs. So you have to keep, you have to take that in mind. And also, when it comes to uh, something like this, another way to look at it is, is when you start looking at, uh, if you're using these or any of these items for uh, prepping or survival or anything like that or you have a community watch or anything like that right well the whole key to survival is is that very few people can do it by themselves you usually need to have at least a small close-knit bunch of people that you can count on hopefully with complementary skills and experiences and and all of that um it's not all about security, it's also about other things. And so you need those kind of interlocking and complementary skills. Well, one of the things that everybody should have some sort of idea on or some responsibility for would be security, right? So if you are in a situation where you have a group of like-minded people that are all prepping together in case Armageddon comes, then this might, and you get five of these over the course of a year, maybe keep one or two sets for yourself. And if there's somebody that can't afford to kit out better um, than they are currently, they're just getting started or they're on a budget, but they're trying to help your community out. They're trying to, you know, you know, be prepared. Why not just gift them or barter the handcuffs uh, with them? Or if you have a, you know, if you have a family and you want everybody to be prepared, um, say you got five people in your family and you get five of these over the course of a year or two through Shield Box, give each one of, member of your family a set of handcuffs, and also <laughs> get some training on how to do, how to actually use them effectively and when to use them and when not to. So anyway, that's my soapbox for all of this kind of stuff. My main thing is, is anytime you get a subscription box, 
before you just label it great or crappy, actually take a second, look at everything that you get in it, and think, how could I possibly use it? And don't always just pigeonhole yourself with, this is what the intended purpose is. What else can I use it for? Because something like this, say an intruder gets in your house, right? And they're in an interior room, no, no entry or access points, no escape routes, except through the door they came in, just that one door. There's no windows or anything. Um, now, would it be smarter to say, you, have, you know, there's double doors there, they open out, open in. It doesn't really matter if there's a way, if there's double doors like that. A simple way to keep yourself safe while the cops arrive would be to handcuff the two doorknobs. That way, they have to defeat this to get out. Not necessarily foolproof. There are ways they could uh, could do it, but it's going to take time and effort. And hopefully, it'll take enough time and effort for you to get the safety and for the cops to arrive. Main thing, main emphasis is you get the safety. Um, so there's a number of things you can um, that you can use a particular item for, and that was just one example off the top of my head. And I know I keep going back to these, but this is something that a lot of people just think, they just think one thing, handcuff people. Um, but there's a lot of stuff you could do. I mean, you could even do an improvised tow with two vehicles as long as you're not putting too much torque on them. You're not trying to tow too much or whatever. It's not recommended, but in a pinch, if you absolutely had to, you could do that. Locking on the two bumpers if you have an access point there to do that. Um, Especially on like ATVs or something with a roll bar in the or not a roll bar, with a uh, um, any kind of cage over the front, you know, to protect the headlights and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could use these for outside of prisoners. So anyway, that's my that's my advice. That's my soapbox. Is whether it's this box or a different box, pick up an item, think about it for a few minutes. Even try it out doing a few different things with it. Don't just look at it for, hey, this is how it's marketed. Because, you know, the way something's marketed may be the best use for it, but it probably is not the only use for it. And if you get, uh, if you start looking at things from, well, it's only good for one thing, then that's when uh, things lose their value to you. And that's when you start getting disgruntled when, Everybody else around you is like, yay, I can't believe we got this. So anyway, I'm done rambling. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys have a uh, have a great Christmas and all of that. I, uh, I hope 2024 is even better than 2023 was. I'm getting ready to go to um, SHOT Show in January again. So you'll see a lot of content coming there. And uh, yeah. See, even my even when I say I'm not, I'm going to quit rambling. I start doing it again because I get excited about this kind of stuff. I, I like guns and gear and knives and all that kind of stuff. I love talk, talking about this kind of stuff and and tactics and all this and uh, the logistics of prepping and everything. So just shut up, John. Good advice, John. Until next time, watch your six and carry on. Weird son out.